Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lee. And as is usual with me, I saw something. I liked it and said, ooh, I wonder if I can do that. So this is what I saw. It's a solar light little fancy dancy holder. And although my solar light is different than that, I feel like I can still, I can still make it work. So, I've decided to try. Okay guys, so we got the pieces all cut out of what we need. Let's start assembling. First thing I did was I did cut a hole in the bottom of my board. This is a 5 8 inch diameter hole that I made. How I got to that was I actually used the stick from the solar light to determine what size opening I needed. Then, just drilled the hole. The next thing was to attach the legs. So I used a nail gun and you simply put a couple nails in it. I did make the mistake initially of not using long enough nails. So make sure that your nails are long enough if you're using a nail gun. Uh, mine were enough to stick it, but not quite enough to really hold it good and solid. So I did have to go back and redo this process. All right, guys, once you have all the legs attached, you want to flip it over and pretty much wash and repeat what you did on the bottom. The only difference to the top that I made was in the photograph, it did show a kind of dimensional top. So I just cut a smaller piece to nail to the top, and then I took the top and nailed it into the legs. Again, make sure you use the proper size nail so you don't have to go back and redo this work again. Because these are not, my particular design is not overly chunky or steady. It's simply decorative. Once I had that done, it was time to get the bracket for the top. Now, I made more than one of these, and in the later ones that I made, I assembled this before I attached everything together. But as you saw there, it's just a simple eye hook and a little bracket. The bracket there does come with two finishing nails, which was somewhat challenging to nail in with it already assembled, which is why I'm telling you, don't make the same mistake I did. Once you get the two pieces nailed together, go ahead and put your eye hook in where you want it with the finishing nails before you assemble it to the rest of the frame. Okay, so now we're going to create the arm that actually is holding the lantern. I simply threw a couple nails into the end of the board to hold these two boards in place and then proceeded to put the arch in. Now the arch was a little bit more difficult for me than as you can see in the photo there in the bottom left hand corner because their arch is actually as wide as the very boards that they are using. Mine is not. Um, so it was a little bit trickier to do, but well worth it in the long run, in my opinion. The hardest part was trying to get it lined up where I needed it and not get it to move. I did initially try some liquid nails to try to hold it in place a little bit so I could nail it. I wasn't successful with that, but I gave it a valiant effort. In the end, I just nailed it in place and hoped that I got it right, and thankfully I did. So the next step was to install the hook. Now you can get hooks at Home Depot, Lowe's, the Dollar Store, pretty much any place you would like. These are ones that I presently had on hand, so they were perfect for me because I didn't have to buy anything. And all I did was simply just screw it in to the bottom of the wood where I wanted it to go. Items that I used for this just your average fence plank, six foot tall, four inches wide, and I just cut my pieces out of it. It took two. One piece gave me three out of it using this template that I created. I did use some little hooks that I had on hand, which you saw, and um, my nail gun, obviously. But all in all, it was a pretty simple, easy project, and I used all scrap that we had laying around the garage. Um, I hope it turns out good. I'll show you tonight. Um, you'll see it instantaneously, but we'll see if it works tonight. So, fingers crossed. Alright everybody, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, catch us next time when we get into something new. Toodles. So just your average fish plant fish.